I'm Mark, and this is Everyone Can Grill. Today on The Performer, we're going to make some garlic pepperoni knot breads. It's really simple to do. Tastes out of this world. You fire this up, bring your friends over, they're going to love it. So stick around, because this is going to be good. Okay, to start this off, this is the most tedious part. We're going to take this pepperoni. And this started out as a mistake but it worked out to be good. It just takes a little bit of time. Because I'm going to take this pepperoni and stack it up a little bit. And I'm going to quarter it. Just like this. Yeah, this takes a long time to do. But, trust me, it's worth it in the long run. Because it really tastes good. So, I got that much more to go. And this is what I'm using here is the just Hormel mini pepperonis. Like I said, it started out as an accident. I, I meant to get the pepperoni stick and ended up the wife grabbed these instead and it worked out. So we're just going to go through and do a good chop on them. A nice sharp knife. And I'm going to do the whole bag like this. The more you get in there, the better it tastes. So you don't need to watch me do all this. I will come back when this is all chopped up and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm using a Pillsbury thin crust, pizza crust, and a tube. So let me figure out how to open this. Peel the case off. I always like doing that. That's so much fun. Now, pull this whole Jasper out of here. And I'm trying not to scratch the dog snot out of it. You can see my cutting board is already um, breaded. I'm going to make this a little bit better. I am using a pizza cutter. It works so much better than trying to Cut these by hand. Cut it in half. Get that one out of the way and then try to roll this out. And you'll see what I'm, why I'm using this floured cutting board. I open it up. I put flour on the one side. Flip that thing over. And now it's floured on this side too so it's not as sticky. Because it, it can get sticky. And now I'm just going to cut eh, strips. They don't have to be perfect. Nothing about this has to be perfect. So we're just going to cut these to length. And like I said, this is a thin crust. And I'm going to cut it all the way across this way too. Wham! Just like that. Now we're going to take this dough. Just fold it into little knots and set them aside. Just like this. I would try to do this for the camera before. They're not huge. They're 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 bite size. Here, let me get this in the camera better for you. They're bite size. So you're not getting a whole huge mouthful of dough. That's all the bigger I'm trying to make them. So let me go through all this and the other one, and we'll go from there. Now, usually I'm doing this while I have the pepperoni mix on the oven. But for the video, I'm just doing them separate just so you can see it better. But time management type thing, you know them both at the same time because then you got like I said you got a four hour wait for this to soak up all the goodness all right well let me finish this and I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to cook okay real quick I'm bringing you back just to show you what we have here the they don't have to be perfect I mean they're all different sizes and just the way it works out 
but this is what you're going to want to go right now. We're going to set these off to the side, and I'm going to show you how to start cooking the, the beautiful for this, <laughs> I guess you would call it. So let me turn everything around, and I will bring you back in a minute. Okay, let's start cooking. In my cast iron, I have two tablespoons of melted butter. I just melted it in the microwave. And with that, we're going to do the same amount, or about, somewhere around here, of olive oil. And get that heated up. Because the next thing is in the fridge. Our pepperoni. I'm going to put this, the whole thing, see I chopped all that up. I'm going to put this in here and cook it till it's crispy. Well, kind of crispy. I'm going to spread that out a little bit. Just like that. And as that heats up, we'll kind of fry it in the bacon and the um, olive oil. I didn't let the pan really come up to temperature. What I will do is I'm going to pause this while this is cooking. I will bring you back in a few minutes. Sorry about the way the light is. It's me. Walking in front, there's not much I can do about that. But I will bring you back in a few minutes. All right. You can see how this has changed colors. And the olive oil and butter has even changed color now. It's got that pepperoni getting infused into the oil. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're at this point. I want to add two tablespoons of minced garlic right into this. Yum! Oh, I wish you could smell how this smells. I turn the heat way down now. I don't want to burn this garlic. I just want to brown it just a little bit. Get that flavor mixed in here. Get it going in that olive oil. Might be a little too far. Beautiful. There we go. Got just a little sizzle going on there. Just like that. We only need to do that for a minute, maybe. So, just to let it go. I, I did the uh, pepperoni for just about five minutes on low, medium, low. Garlic, I'm going to do the same thing, but not for quite as long. We're just looking to get a little bit of that heat kissed onto the garlic, get it stirred. You don't want to burn garlic because then it'll make everything bitter. We're not looking for bitter, we're just looking for a whole lot of flavor. So there we go. I'm going to turn this heat off. That's going to. Can't talk today. That's going to continue to cook for just a little bit. And I'm going to switch the camera around and I will bring you back to our next part. Okay. To the bowl, I'm going to add our Parmesan olive oil garlic mix. Put it all in there. Just like that. Now don't worry about scraping this bowl. There's cast iron skillet clean. Because we're going to be using this, and that little bit in there isn't going to hurt anything. Now I'm going to let that sit for five minutes or so, because I found out the first time I did this, that you want to let it sit for about five minutes or so, or else you'll burn the thunder out of your hand. So, once it's cooled off enough to where, oh wait, jeepers, creepers, I almost forgot. We're going to add a, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese to this. We could have done that before, but I like to do it when it's still a little bit warm. Kind of melts in there a little bit. 
sticks to the pepperoni and the garlic. And then that all gets stuck to your bread. Not so good. All right, so there we go. Now that looks better. All right, I will bring you back in a couple minutes when that's cooled off enough to where we can handle it. Okay, let's put this together. We're going to take our bread dough and just set it in here and give it a toss. Just like that. See, that's what we're looking for. Get a little bit of pepperoni, a little bit of garlic and olive oil on there, and we're just going to start laying these in here. So I will speed this up. All right, there's the last couple of them. And look at how good that looks. Now I take the rest of this, and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top. And that just, we don't want to waste it. And man, does that make everything good. Look at that. I'm going to wash my hands, and I'll bring you right back. All right, my hands are clean, and I'm going to take some olive oil and just lightly drizzle this over the whole thing. You don't need a whole lot, but you want to get them all. And man, I'll tell you what, the whole house smells good right now. Okay, and then on top of that, we're going to take some Pecorino Romano, and we're going to sprinkle that over everything get a good coating on this on there it'll suck up a bunch of that olive oil and it'll stick really good to these knots just like that all right the last thing i want to do is cover this up with aluminum foil and then we're going to set it off to side for until i'm ready to cook you can do four hours you can do it overnight in the refrigerator I'm just going to set it on the stove for a couple hours because it's just too early to cook. And, uh, all right, I will bring you back when we're outside. Okay. My charcoals are fired up. Let's spread these out. And while I'm doing this, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing and liking my videos. And saying all the good stuff about them. I really appreciate it. And anybody else that would like to subscribe, I'd love to have you. A couple months ago, I had no idea that this would take off like it did. But we're over 130 subscribers right now. So thank you very much. All right, I put the grates on. Motorhead neighbor in the Cadillac thinks he's pretty cool. I'll put the grate on upside down because I'm going to add some smoke to this later on, but not while I'm cooking these. Check that out. Sat there for four hours and sucked all that good stuff up. Now what we're going to do is throw it on the grill, put the lid on, and I'm going to set this to run a rate about 350 degrees for just about 45 minutes. So if you remember my one video, I'm going to bring this all the way down. To the first notch or first line on my basket. That'll bring me right to about 350 degrees. Eh, plus or minus, and I'll move it around to adjust for that. But I'm gonna let them cook. We'll let them go. I will bring you back in a little while so you can see how good they look. All right, it has been 20 minutes since uh, we threw these on, and <laughs> check. That is amazing looking, isn't it? I'm going to move these around just a little bit. That's what we're looking for right there. Man, you can't ask for any more than that. I'm going to call these pretty much done.
in 20 minutes at 350 indirect. And remember, that's how I use that uh, thin crust pizza mix for that. The thicker crust takes a lot longer to cook. So I want to get these on before I pull those off. And we're going to just do indirect. I'm cooking brats for dinner tonight. Just like that. Keep the hands clean. But uh, while I'm doing this, I want to thank everybody in the healthcare service and everybody else that's out there doing what they can do so we don't have to be in a toilet paper panic world anymore. I'm going to pull these off, get them in the house and try them out. Because we're not going to eat. Well, no, I'm going to set them right up here and let them cool off for a bit. And then we'll try them. But look at that. That's everything you want right there. So I'm going to leave you to this. My name is Mark. This is Everyone Can Grill. Get off your butts. Fire up your grills. See what you can do. Because it's not hard. And it is good. Have a good weekend.